Tonight, we're looking into how dangerous the zombie deer disease really is. Earlier this week, we reported about an increase in zombie deer disease in several states, including right here in Kansas. And KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi is live in downtown Topeka. She spoke to a local expert to find out what this really means. Kelly? Brooke, the talk around zombie deer disease surfaced earlier this month when a researcher from the University of Minnesota asked for two, almost $2 million from the Minnesota legislature to study zombie deer disease. He compares it to mad cow disease, which did make its way from cows to humans. But I spoke to national and local experts to find out if this is something you should actually worry about. Chronic wasting disease was discovered in Colorado in the 1970s. Some also refer to it as zombie deer. Zombie defined is a corpse has been brought back to life. This month, the CDC warned people about the disease spreading. Travis Lowe is the executive director of the Elk Research Foundation. They study elk across North America. He says the disease is not even the biggest killer of deer. 216 cases of chronic wasting disease in the state in the last 20 years out of the 27,000 that have been tested. That's 0.008% of deer in the entire state of Kansas since 1996. The term zombie deer that's floating across the nation right now is engendering all these fearful images, which is really doing a gross exaggeration and misrepresentation of chronic wasting disease. The National Institute of Health says there is no evidence that CWD has made its way to humans. I went out with my dad and my uncles hunting ever since I could walk. John Reed is an avid hunter and his kids are quickly learning from their dad. He's concerned about how this will influence the next generation of hunting. But how can we get them involved in, in an American pastime um, and get them outside if we make them scared of the outdoors. He has never seen one of the diseased deer in his time hunting all over Kansas. I see hundreds if not thousands a year and I have never seen a case of CWD. And the Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism says you probably won't come across one of these deer. It's a cruel world out there. There's lots of things that want to eat deer. There's pneumonia and there's things that they, they succumb to when they're weak. Now, the experts still suggest taking the time to properly dispose of the parts of the animals that you don't use and professionally getting your meat checked. Live in downtown Topeka, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Kelly. And there are some ways you can spot the infected deer and avoid hunting them. The Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism says the animal may be stumbling. The deer may also be drooling and look weak. Now, if you hunt a deer and you'd like to get it tested just to be safe, you can send that sample to the K-State Diagnostic Laboratory. They'll check to see if it's okay to eat.